Hello YouTube and welcome today to my next asset tutorial and today I'm gonna show you how to make seamless tiles texture we're gonna make just tiles some keramic tiles oh and before this tutorial make sure that you have hemisphere and scene with one strength and fully white okay let's get in I'm gonna add cube and I'm gonna call it tile I'm gonna make it very small on the axis. Scale down something like tile star. And I'm gonna scale it down on other axis to something like 25 centimeters. And I'm gonna set it to 24 cent. Okay, it's 50. Um, okay. Then I'll scale down to something like uh, 0.48. Um, to have little edges around. Okay, I'm gonna scale down the X CMR. That apply scale. And now what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna look at here, and now I'm gonna take those top vertices and scale them down to something like this. And then I'm gonna look at here and scale this up. And lastly, I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna set it to smooth shading actually now. And now I'm gonna select. Uh, sell, take edge select. Select those edges. Um, like framey. Some kind of frame. And I'm gonna press V bevel, and I'm gonna hold down shift for smoother ending, and make a little bevel there. And now I can also add subdivision surface simple. Now there, that subdivision surface. I thought no, it actually still makes round, so I'll not do it. Um. What I can do though is add com here loop cuts, three loop cuts, and also here three loop cuts. And now I have a bit higher geometry, and I can do such things as make this inwards minimally, um, I'm gonna scale this up, and move it on C axis upwards a bit. And finally I can take uh, I, I'm gonna go in quickly on full warframe, take all the corners, go back to material and again hold down press S then hold down shift and minimally scaling words. Now we have this okay not that much. Have this nice style. I'm gonna Go on top view, you, uh, uh, five for orthography, you, uh, project from you bounds. Now I'm gonna go in Google for getting texture. Again, I don't recommend you to make your own. It's, in most cases, it's indeed better. But I'm gonna get it in Google, so I'm gonna type in tile. Uh, in my case, I'm gonna look for something like, um, no, something really George looking. The style. Um, I don't know how they're called. The royal design. Mm. I don't. Um, the golden design. Who's the? No, this is also not. Okay, I'll leave just style and take. I look lower. Nothing for my interest. So I'm gonna stick with this style. I like it. But you're gonna. I really hope that you're gonna capture a tile somewhere in your home or anywhere. I'm gonna call this tile.
I like the style. Yes. So I'm gonna now add new material for the tile and call it tile. And for tiles I'm gonna scale this up and specularity for baking purposes and color I'm gonna set it to 0.05. After that I'm gonna scale tapping the image. I'm gonna actually make a nice looking specular texture this time. I'm gonna set tile. Open up this image. And yes, it looks fine. I'm gonna move those words easy and arts. Although you can see the bottom part, it's good to have this look better. Okay. Now when we had style, I'll see what, how it looks like if I scan it twice. No, it doesn't look like at all. Now I'm gonna go in top view, um, and I'm gonna press Alt D X 0.5. You must know the actual size. It was 0.5, but we scaled down. I'm gonna actually set it to. I'm gonna delete this style. I'm gonna take here and set it to 4.9. It looks a bit better and apply scale. And now I'm gonna all the x.5 all the y.5 rz90 all the x minus 0.5 rz190 all the x minus 0.5 rz90 all the y minus 5 rz90 random rotations now I'm gonna take all of them all the y minus dot 5 rz 190 some randomness um, I'm gonna take them all all of them uh, gy.25 and gx minus 0.25 to make sure they fit with this edge almost fit now I'm gonna take those all the x.5 uh, rz 180 Z minus 90 and then take all those tiles all the y minus 0.5 Z 90 Z 180 Z minus 90 like this okay Z minus 180 this looks decent You can now adjust the tower rotations and things like that. Um, one more thing you need is something under them. AO will do the stuff, so you'll need something simple. Uh, I'm gonna just take all D, shift S selection to cursor, and then move it down. And then I'm set, gonna set those values to 2 and 2. And move it upwards to maximally fit them. Like this. Then I'm gonna select all objects except the lamp. And then I'm gonna make sure that the base is white. And I'm gonna press Ctrl G. We have now this nice base dial. Uh, now we need to make it seamless again. All the x to all the y minus two, all the x minus two. Um, select them all and control G. Sorry, wrong combination. Control G. And now I'm gonna set it at center. And now we have this nice tile base as you can see um yeah those holes I hope that they are not gonna be that easy um actually you can take no okay in this tutorial I'm gonna save that make sure that in your case there are not those top holes that can make some problems in baking. Uh, I'm gonna leave them with you 
you should make sure that the bottom tile or anything is large enough to make sure there are not holes because they're not going to be black unless I'm going to set the background to black and now they are black now what I do is I add new plane move it upwards something like 0.5 and reset its UVs a new texture I'm going to call it tile diffuse tiles I'm going to leave the size and everything I'm going to select this and then hold down shift and select this I'm gonna set it to full render, bake. Slowly baking out. And I'm gonna stop it right here. I'm gonna go in world settings, blender and then ambient occlusion. And I'm gonna increase the factor if it's possible, it's not. Okay, so there are gonna be lighter spots, but I'm gonna stick with it. Even if you set the background to black, you could even survive without those burn things. But at some points, you might consider this even being good to have something like this in between them. Okay, I'm gonna bake again. I'm gonna pause. Okay, I have finished baking now, so I'm gonna save this image. Now, let's go in edit mode. And a new texture called tiles normals and I'm gonna bake normals from selected to active we have this basic normal map actually um, it looks like a bit too blank I'm gonna click on this material go under this texture Enable geometry normal and set to 0 0.001. Something really smooth like that. I'm gonna set best quality. Again, select. No, uh, select like this and back again. Um, I'm gonna increase this value a bit. 0 0.005. Now, when I bake it, it makes a bit of normal those little cracks and things like that, making it look a bit more detailed. I'm going to save as image uh, tiles normals. Yes. Now I'm going to move this away. I'm going to layer layer five. Um. Now I'm going to test out tiles I'm gonna call this tiles this is gonna be a test object so I'm gonna add new material called tiles and I'll leave specularity something like this maybe set it to 0.25 and set this to 50 and now I'm gonna add new texture called tiles diffuse and I'm gonna set it to use this texture I'm gonna go to this texture and enable me of course for my RPGA and we have this nice tiles I'm gonna scale this up and scale also here now you can see it's seamless, but because of my little mistake where I left spaces between them, we have this area here. And black background didn't help because uh, the bake background is independent from the world background. I'm gonna actually set it back to the previous color. It was something like this. It was something like this here and something like this here. And uh, I'm gonna wait. No, it was inverse here. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm. It's just for preview. I'm gonna change. No, not change. Set here new texture. Tiles. No, not. Others are trying to defocus me, so I'm not able to think normally. I'm sorry for that. Um, I'm gonna enable normals and image sampling. 
Oh, I'm on that. And I'm gonna set here to blue. I'm gonna take my sun lamp to here. Now you can see those little nice tile left. Um, they look like good tiles. They have a little bit of normal map. Um, but their specularity could be improved. Um, currently it's a bit too blank. And it's easy to improve it. I'm gonna go to GIMP. Open up GIMP. I'm gonna open. And I'm gonna go to the location where I stored it. Tiles diffuse. Open up. I'm gonna desaturate it. And now I can adjust its colors with uh, curves. So I'm gonna turn this down a lot. And here I can also set it down like this. I want to make it significant. This effect usually works out well. So you can make some random specularity adjustments. Okay, those edges must be without any specularity. Um, you can do things like this, make it less, make it, the way you adjust curves will just change the way how specular it will be at each point. I'm gonna stick with something like this, because it looks fancy. I'm gonna export as tiles specular export. I'm gonna um, close game for now. Okay, for this tutorial actually, because we won't need it anymore. I'm gonna take the tile material and a new texture. I'm gonna call it Tiles Specular. Open um, Tiles Specular Texture. Now you can see how it looks like here. I'm gonna disable color from it, set RGB to intensity, and enable specular and color. No, not color, but intensity. Uh, specular intensity and specular hardness. Now I can actually turn this down and make hardness allied. And now you can see those some parts are more reflective than others here, and it makes that nice effect. You can actually make this up if you want all to have more reflections, but it's not needed. Um, you can enable color or not, it doesn't give much influence. But now we have those nice looking tiles. And that's all. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If so, don't forget to leave a like. And see you next time.